All right, now we'll get to Mississippi, where severe weather caused damage in the city of Hazelhurst. Emergency officials say fallen trees and debris damaged dozens of homes, and there's also damage to commercial buildings and cars. One person who lives in the community shared her story about what happened. We were in bed. Um, I woke up when I heard the tree fall. We've been up all night ever since. I have damage to my roof. Um, a tree fell on my roof and my car, and the roof is leaking, and my car may be a total loss. Thousands of people remain without power in the community. We'll get back to 4029's Robert, sir, but Robert, you were saying this is um, kind of a, a unusual thing for them that time of year. Yeah, late November. I mean, there is a second severe weather season. This seemed a little bit late, and this was a lot stronger than people thought. In fact, I was looking at Twitter uh, yesterday, a lot of storm chasers. Talk, and this is storm chaser language, talking about how much nadir juice was in the atmosphere yesterday because it was so unstable. And you saw all of those unfortunate, those tornadoes. Now, thankfully, nothing like that here uh, as we head into Thanksgiving, which is certainly great news. Uh, average temperatures as we head into Thanksgiving and then cooling off a little bit as we get into the second half of the five day period. Morning lows, though, pretty chilly, especially tomorrow morning and Thanksgiving morning. A lot of people get up early on Thanksgiving, got to run back to the store. They forgot something before they throw the turkey in the oven. It'll be a chilly Thanksgiving morning. You can see River Valley about the same thing uh, with those temperatures cooling down as we get into next week. Right now, finally saying and uh, goodbye to all that rain and mist. We had that weak piece of energy slide through earlier, maybe a sprinkle or two left over in LaFleur County or Scott County, but that is about it. Lots of gray skies right now in Fayetteville. We had some fog and mist earlier, but starting to clear out. That's the theme tonight is clearer skies. Uh, but you can see temperatures, they're chilly with these northwesterly winds pulling in that cooler air. Uh, meanwhile, in Fort Smith, as we look out over Interstate 40, look at that sunset. Finally, a little peak of sunshine in Fort Smith where we're at 49 degrees. So very chilly here. Uh, not too bad with the wind chill. That's certainly good news. Uh, elsewhere across the River Valley, Temperatures not too bad, uh, upper 40s and lower 50s, but that cooler air is not too far off and it'll make it into the River Valley as we go through the rest of the night. Big picture, uh, nice and quiet for most of the lower 48, high pressure building in across the Four Corners region. A mess though across the east into the Mid-Atlantic, into New England. Uh, they're really starting to pile up the snow across the Adirondacks and into uh, northern New England. So if you've got travel plans, uh, keep that in mind if, to or from that area. Maybe you've got family coming in from New York State. The rest of the night, nothing to worry about. Clearing skies. We clear out by tomorrow. Those clear skies stick around all day long. Not a bad day despite the cooler temperatures. And we'll also be comfortable or we'll be clear and cool as we head into Thanksgiving morning. There's a look at those travel impacts for tomorrow, mainly along the East Coast and into New England as well as the Pacific Northwest. If you're traveling tonight, I did some checking right now. The evening flights out of XNA, we are in good shape. No delays there, uh, which is certainly good news. Lows tonight, 20s and 30s. Tomorrow, not going very far, only into the 40s and the 50s. And there's a look at the extended forecast, which really isn't too bad. Lots of sunshine throughout the holiday weekend. Maybe a brief shower very, very early Sunday morning. So no problems, guys, in Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley for Thanksgiving, for Black Friday, for Small Business Saturday, for Cyber Monday, and for Giving Tuesday.